600 to 700 babies go through the NICU at Geisinger each year. Now the hospital says eight of those babies have been exposed to a case of pseudomonas, a waterborne infection in premature babies. Pseudomonas is a very common bacteria. It is present in our environment in many different places. It is often very harmless. Four babies are recovering. One infant continues to receive antibiotic treatment for the infection. Sadly, in this case, three infants have died from it. Doctors say they believe that is a result of their already vulnerable state because they were born extremely premature. They say they are doing everything in their power to get to the bottom of this. It's really too soon to say exactly uh, where the organism is coming from, uh, but uh, what we have, the information that we have so far, suggests that it's someplace outside of the neonatal intensive care unit, uh, and are continuing to pursue that and trying to confirm that uh, as best we can. This is our obligation. This is our responsibility. We owe this to our community, to our families, and most importantly, to the children we care for. Our neonatal intensive care unit has never seen a situation involving infections like this. Officials with Geisinger say they are taking the precautionary steps in making sure this type of outbreak doesn't happen again. What do you do when a bad thing happens like this? You do everything that you can to eliminate anything that you're suspicious of. So we have done everything that we could. We made sure that we increased the chlorination of the water. We've put some special uh, filters on the taps. We have done extra cleaning, even though we didn't find the organism on the surfaces.